Hey ballers, it's part two of the build your own ski log tutorial. So you can see that we're inside my Google Docs, which if you've got Google Mail, you have Google Documents. So let's go back to my Google Documents and we're going to talk about what we have to do to get Google to make you a really easy to manage little form. So we're down into my documents and there's probably some secret stuff in there so we'll do this quickly. I'm going to go straight to the form. So now I've got this blank form. Again I just went to Google Documents, create new form and we're in the build your own ski log part two. And you could have some information here. This is just a description so I'm going to leave it blank. And my first question might be date and I'll just make this text and I'm gonna make this one required and then you can't see this oh yeah you can and then I'm gonna add another item and I'm gonna make this one oh a checkbox and I'm gonna scroll down the page a little bit so you can see it I'm trying it's not really working for me but this checkbox is going to be did I learn something and we get done, that'll be a yes or no. And I'm trying to figure out how I can make it so you can see this. Well, darn it. I'm trying not to cuss. So I'm just going to zoom out. So we've got a checkbox, and option one is yes, and option two is no. I'm going to make this one required, and I'm going to click done. So now I've got my date question and my did I learn something question and here's the sample question and I'm just gonna take the sample question that Google gave me and I'm gonna move it down below and see I can move stuff around by clicking or dragging and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add another item and this one's gonna be text and it's gonna be um, best score and I'm going to make this one required or not, probably. And I'm going to drag this back here. And you know, darn it. Um, I also need to say what were my cruise control settings. So I'm going to add one more item. And I'm going to make this one multiple choice. And this is going to give me a little bit of uh, pain here. But so. Um, Cruise settings, and it's going to be multiple choice. And you'll see that option one is B2, which, by the way, is the only setting any of you should ever use. Uh, option two is whatever you want perfect pass, classic, GPS, cheat, whatever you want. So the point is you can come in here and you can add these and I'll move that up so you can see a little bit better. This could be my option when I fill out my form. So this is junk, right? I mean, this would not be your ski form, but you would come in and say, I want to keep track of who my driver was. I want to keep track of what my cruise control setting was. I want to pay attention to water temperature. In fact, that's a great one. Let me add water temperature in here because I know you guys are just that serious or no better well yeah we'll do temperature uh, maybe that is text I'm gonna drag it up here so we can see it temp required done I'll show you another one that's kinda cool I'm using in my ski test something called holistic quality which is kind of a crazy name but so let's just uh, whatever I'm basically saying from one to five, how is it? So if one equals bad and five equals good, I could be ranking the water conditions, how I felt that day, what I thought of the ski, was there a hot chick in the boat, whatever. So I can record all this. I can order it however I want it. And 